I am Orlando Caesar with a reading, a poetry reading from an original creation. The title is The Creation, Part Two. Amidst the ruins of a molten day, the smoldering ashes, remnants of God's creation lie obliterated by man's arrogance and ignorance. The reciprocal inhumanity to man was an abomination to the Creator's plan. When egos collided, attitudes obscured the way to truth and trust. As nations turned against nations, a world lay wasted, the consequences of ignored signs and proclamations, civil unrest and protestations, and the proliferation of weapons. Heavily armed juggernauts forgot the lessons that history taught. The paranoid pushed a button, unleashing the chain reaction as destruction unfurled the solar winds. Life stops. Civilization ends. The eye sees as a camera pans the carnage from different angles. The sight distorts. Reality mangles. Shadows exist in the white of the flame. Smoky images against the charred remains of an advanced civilization reduced to body parts by graven images with intellect. But hearts that became hardened and did not heed the cries of suffering, those in need of medical intervention, a pound of cure should have been traded for an ounce of prevention. Which begs the question, why? As moisture fills the cornea of heaven's eye, the miracles were ignored and cast aside. The prophets were dismissed, jailed, and a deaf ear turned. As for the past, amnesia. Nothing was learned. No comprehension or retention, as old mistakes were recycled, regurgitated, replayed, repeated, until the world was defeated, depleted. The same scene with many takes, but we never got it right. Hear the sound of celestial sorrow, weeping for the unborn and those born of an eternity of expectations not met. The pain of loss and the hollowness of regret and all the promises as potential remembers, a tear falls to extinguish the embers. Amid the the shadows of a molten day, dominated by the vestiges of the struggle between the wrong and the right. The scene goes to black, and out of the night, a voice says, Let there be light.